if we look at the file directory, here's our downloaded config.json file. But right now there's nothing in the data folder. So what we need to do is to transform this simplified configuration file into the more complicated metadata description file that's required in order to do the actual upload. In order to do that, there's a simple Python script that will transform this simple JSON file into the more complicated one. And there's a link that will take you to the GitHub page where that script lives. There's no need to actually look at the script because all you are going to do is to run it. Once again, if we just simply go to the raw button, right click on it and say save link as. Now what we need to do is to just save it in the same folder as the config.json file. So I will go ahead and say save and let's go back and see, there it is. So in order to run this file, I'm going to need to open a terminal window. I will go up to the search window, start typing terminal, which is what it's called on a Mac. On a Windows computer, you would go to the search box and start typing command prompt in order to bring up the terminal window there. So here's my terminal window. And by default, on most computers, when your terminal window opens, you are in the directory that is your home directory. And your documents and downloads folders are, are usually subfolders of this. So I'll go to the terminal window and I will type in CD documents. That takes me to my documents folder. If I'm on a Mac and I wanna see what fi files and folders are in there, I can just type LS. On a PC, you type DIR. So here I see my Wikidata underscore test subfolder. I'm going to change to that by doing CD Wikidata underscore test. And now I see my data subfolder, a simplified configuration file, and here's the script that I want to run. On most computers, you just type Python and then the name of the script you want to run. Although on some Mac configurations, you have to type Python 3. That's how my computer is set up. So I will type Python 3. And then the name of the script is long, convert underscore JSON. So I will just start typing it and then hit the tab key. And it has filled in the rest of the script name for me. Now all I have to do is hit enter or return and it's done writing the script. So it doesn't look like much happened. However, if I go back up to my navigator window and click on data, I will see that it has created three files. The first file is the CSV dash metadata JSON file, the complicated mapping file. And I don't actually need to look at that. I just have to have it. Um, the other two files are the CSV files that are specified uh, in my configuration file. And you may remember that they were called artworks and works depicts. And the files that are created here have a little H in front of them. That's actually just a trick to avoid overwriting any existing files that you have. So um, since I don't have any existing files, I don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna go in here and delete the H's off the beginning of this. 